Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can generate random numbers inside a text view once you click on any button, which will be something like this. I click on this button and it will just go on generating random numbers inside this text view. Okay. Now I'm going to teach you two methods. First method will be to generate random numbers till a particular value. Let's say generate random numbers till 1000, 2000, 999, whatever. Okay, and the second method will be to generate random numbers in a particular range. Let's say from 1 to 10 to 250 to 470 or whatever that range may be. Okay, so these two methods I'm going to teach you in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started with this video. My name is Samian Savant. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so as you can see here, this is a new project, random numbers. Now, first of all, we'll have to lay a base for this project so that we can implement those two methods. So we'll have to take a button in here. Now we already have a text view so that we can see the random numbers inside the text view. So we'll take a button. Okay, so this is a constraint layout. Now in case if you don't know how to use a constraint layout, there's a video up here. Okay, now just right click on it, center it vertically in parent, horizontally in parent, and I'll just keep it here and the text view let's keep it there itself okay now we'll have to give ids to both of them so we already have id text view here we'll give it button okay let's keep it button itself so we have given ids to both of them text view and the button now i'll just change a few things inside this code okay let's rename this to random so whenever we press on this random it will show up a random value inside the text view Okay, let's remove this. We don't need this hello world. And I'll just give this uh, text view a few properties. I'll just fast forward this. Okay, so I've given a text size, color, and a font. Now we are done with the UI. Let's go to the Java activity. Now in here, first of all, we'll have to access both of them, right? The text view and the button. So here, first we'll declare it. Okay, text view. And let's name the object txt. Okay, let's keep it simple. And then button btn. Then let's define it in here. We'll have to access them, right? So txt will be equal to find view by id r dot id dot what was the id there? Text view, right? So we'll write here text view next will be the button right so btn equals to find view by id r dot id dot button simple now we have access to both of those elements next thing is that we want to generate a number inside the text view when we click on the button right so we'll need an on click listener on this button so btn dot set on click listener and in here new space view dot on click listener just hit enter on that and it will give you all of these things now the three main lines of code you want to generate a random number right so we'll, i'll just type in random it already has that space you'll need an object name right so let's name it random okay equals to new random and here a semicolon now once we have created this, what we'll do is we'll generate a random number and save it inside an integer. So we'll need an integer, right? So int space val, let's keep the object name val, which will be equal to this random, you see the object name random. So we'll type it down here, random dot next int and here we'll have a semicolon. Once we have stored this random value inside an integer, we have to show it in the text view, right? Now the text view doesn't accept integer values. It will need string values. So we'll have to convert this integer into a string, right? So here, what we'll do is we'll type txt, the object name, which is up here dot set text. And in here we'll convert it integer dot to string hit enter. And here we'll give the value val, right? 
because the random number is inside VAL and we want to convert VAL to string and which will set the text of the string in the text view. Okay. So VAL and we're done. So this will show up a little warning, just Alt enter and then hit enter on this. The warning will be gone. Now comes the main part. We want to implement it in two ways. So the first way is generating a random number till a particular number. Let's say we want to generate a random number before 1000 till 1000. Okay. So when it generates random numbers, it starts from zero. Okay. So zero, one, two, three, four, and it goes on till 1000. So here, the first way is very simple. Just type in 1000. Okay. And then run the application. Now, once you run the application, once we click on the button, it will show up a random value from zero to 1000, any random number inside the text view. Okay. Let the gradle build. Install successfully finished. Let's go to the emulator. And as we can see random numbers, let's hit on this and let's say if it generates random numbers, click, see 578, click. 517, 526, 876, 385, 518, 240. Okay. So as you can see, it's generating random numbers. All right. So we're done with that. Now, next thing is that we want to display it between a particular range. Let's say from one to 10 to 200 to 300, whatever the range you have. Okay. Now I'll need to explain you a little bit for this because it has a particular formula to it. Okay. So let's minimize all this. I have this document created for you guys so that I can explain it easily. Okay. Let's go full screen. Okay. So now here, see the formula is max minus min plus min where the value inside max will not be considered. It will be excluded and the value inside min will be included. So for example, let's say we want to print random numbers from one to 10. Okay. So here we want 10, right here. Max is 10. But the max value is excluded, right? It doesn't consider the max value. So here we'll write plus one, which is 11. So max will write as 11 and the minimum value, which we want is one, right? Now one is included. Okay. Min is included, right? So min will, will be equals to one itself. So the formula will become 11 minus one plus one max minus min plus min. Get the concept. Now let's print those numbers from uh, 1 to 10. Okay. Here we'll just write that formula, which will be 11 minus 1 plus 1. And let's see if it prints the values between this range. Let's install the application. Let the Gradle build. Install successful. And here we have the application. Now, once I click, let's count the numbers. Okay. Now six is shown, five is shown, four is shown, two, two. Okay. One, five, two again, six again, nine. Then we got four and 10 and eight. So basically all the numbers between one to 10 and it won't show any other numbers before one or after 10, it will be in that particular range. Okay. You can just go on clicking and clicking and clicking, but it won't show any other number. It will show the numbers between that particular range. Okay. So that's how you can generate random numbers in both of these ways. All right. Now, if you find this video informative, like the video, it helps with the algorithm and share this with your friends so that they can also implement this awesome method of generating random numbers on button clicks and consider subscribing to the channel. I post Android studio content and tech reviews and gaming vlogs and all other kinds of stuff. I got a whole playlist on Android studio. You can check that out. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.